It's a, a very special week of music making on the island. It was founded by Leonard Friedman, who was um, given the opportunity to come to the to Mull with what was then the remains of the, the remaining um, people on the in the Amadeus Quartet. They just came to, to play music that they loved in a beautiful setting and brought along some young people and played alongside them. And it's grown from that, really. Mm. And both the young and the old benefit from it. That mm. uh, it, it isn't just you know to teach young people. It's no. it's it's an experience, a, a shared experience. There's a lot goes on on the Mull actually, but but I think that having this intense, very very high level music, um, classical music coming here for this short amount of time, and to see the the way that the music develops over the week as well, because we do so many different so many concerts and um, repeat pieces, so people can follow the kind of growth of the performances through the week. I think that's really special. And I think also the context of this festival that you know this is the first time this is happening after the the COVID-19 pandemic, so mm. I think that makes it even more poignant for audiences to actually got some music, you know, some live events to go and attend. Um, that's a big emotional thing for a lot of people, I think. The Doric Quartet are artistic directors. Each year select, this year is eight because of the circumstances, but it can be as many as 15, to come with them to Mull for this week. And it's unlike most of these other kind of summer schools or masterclass events where the young people play and the the sages comment and give them tips and recommendations no wh what happens here is that the doric the members of the doric and the young artists mix up and create new ensembles trios quartets quintets so in fact the young artist is sitting next to you know they're a world-class player, and certainly they're here. What has Mendelssohn Mar on Mall meant to you, Steve? call us old, we're not old, but <laughs> more mature, should we say, um, to actually play and work with them rather than being told what to do from outside. It's, mm. I think, it's a completely different experience. And from what I've learned from talking to people that have been here before, actually, it's, they find it much more valuable as an experience to actually play concerts and work on a piece as, a, as an equal, an equal footing. Um, and I think that's great for them and incredible for us as well to, to share and to get from them their, their perspective, you know, they're coming from a, a different viewpoint, being a little bit younger and just making their way into the profession. Um, they have a fresh look as well, and that's great for us. So I think it's very much a two-way two -way thing. Joy, <laughs> discovering like new repertoire, working with wonderful musicians, and just enjoying the scenery as well. Yeah. And being inspired by the scenery. The Doric don't compromise. They don't lower their standards because they're playing with yeah. younger people. Yeah. Uh, no, the younger people have to up their game to meet them. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's what makes mm -hmm. the standard extraordinary. Mm -hmm. I mean, the number of people today mm -hmm. who have been talking to me and just mm -hmm. I, I'm, can't believe that these people arrived four, four days ago, five days ago, mm -hmm. and are playing music that they didn't play together before and challenging then. music. And very challenging music. <laughs> They'd never played it before together.
I think this year we have a little bit more contemporary piece than usual that we're doing um, of different ranges. I think um, we really want to focus on different part of the repertoire, each of us, and then really dive in and then kind of discover the piece with the young musicians, but more with the way how usually we work on the piece, which is we, we really start learning the piece slowly, no matter where which time period the piece is. And really just to know the, lang the language of the composer. I find that's really inspiring to do that with different musicians. One really special moment is that there is actually a member of the audience who studied with Kurt and um, who is, uh, I'm, we're about to go speak to her, and I think that's going to be really special to have played the music of a composer to someone who knows him so well and on such an intimate level as well. Um, it's really nice. and we play, and exactly, we played it this lunch time, and she actually came to us and said, hey look, think more about the silence, we went away, and then this performance has been completely different because of just that tiny comment that she made, so really special. Yeah, it was really special. The reason it's called Mendelssohn on Mull is that Mendelssohn came to, and as did a lot of people in the, in the, in the um, 19th century, early 19th century, came to get inspiration from nature. Uh, and uh, certainly we, we can see that happening there with the musicians that come here. Yes. Yesterday, you know, they took a trip to Staffa yesterday, and it was yes. just... Uh, so, the, yeah, yeah, so we were on the boat and, and, and there they were seeing Fingal's Cave, yeah. the, the music. I is, <laughs> well, yes, yes. Uh, so yeah. there was a little Mendelssohn pilgrimage there, really. Well, actually, the audience here is very much local, which is very special for us as well, because one of the worry when we first came into the island is that we would uh, be seen as, you know, this, this group of... Uh, foreigners that come and take hold of the island for a week and then go away. Um, and uh, coming every year and, you know, we, we, we work with um, the local cafes here and we try to really get into the shops and it really created a sense of community, we hope at least, that mm. we, um, we get a, an actual connection to the place rather than just using um, their holds. <laughs> yeah. I'm Bill. I'm Suzanne. And we sponsor this concert. Which is, we've been doing for years and we love it. We fell in love with the music on Mal and we started sponsoring it a number of years ago uh, because we wanted it to survive and thrive. And to encourage and, up and coming musicians. And we just loved coming to listen to it and to see it, which was so lovely and still is exactly that way. We think young musicians need all the support they can get, especially after lockdown, when they've been unable to play at all. I have been to a concert this morning at Brunessen, and then we got on the boat and went out to look at Fingal's Cave and saw dolphins and a whale, and now we've come back to Brunessen for another concert in the same hobby. I've been coming every year for 15 years and God willing another 15 I wouldn't miss it for anything. It's tremendous. One of the reasons that the Doric come back year after year is the quality of the audience and the quality of the play. It's, 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 mm -hmm. it's uh, a partnership in that mm -hmm. sense really. It's an immersive experience, it's intensive. It's about being part of the island for that week. You know, the resident here, 
they meet the locals in the shops, they go to, you know, shops and uh, tourist attractions when, the, when they've got free time and contributing to the island in that way. And I've been talking to a lot of islanders in the last few days about how much they value these, you know, top class players coming and playing in venues like Salad Church tonight and Craig Dewar Community Hall and Banesson yesterday and saying, you know, isn't it wonderful? You know, we've got the Doric Quartet in Banesson Hall <laughs> and I'm sitting, you know, socially distanced a few yards from you. <laughs> Someone describes it as being in the same room as the music. If I'd gone to any of the concerts this week in a concert hall in London or Edinburgh or Glasgow or Paris or whatever, I wouldn't have got better. I can tell you that the, 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 the standard is not compromised in any way. This is the best. <laughs> 